and then another packet. Let's uh, see what's in here. These are was it WS one one two eight no WS twenty eight twelve Bs I think the standard what gets referred to as was it Neo Pixel I mean if you look at the unexpected maker he made a game a ring of these. This is <coughs> going to be a clock. There is a my anti static mat is a bit iffy. So you should be able to just solder them together and form a circle. If anyone knows how to uh, <laughs> uncrease an anti-static mat that had been folded rather than kept in a nice smooth roll. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh, it might be forming a ring. Right, I think it's turned the soldering iron on. And uh, still using my old fashioned one. So it's nice to work out do I just butt, butt joint them? solder across or do I want to cut up some uh, small pieces of 20, 24 gauge tin copper wire and uh, the old trick of straightening tin copper wire was to put it in your cutters turn it at an angle and pull and uh, you get a nice a straight bit I suppose if I cut these into small lengths to make it more manageable while the iron warms up okay, I do apologize if my videos are not very good but uh, I think this is going to be something like video number six. I've got a a new camera, which is up there, hanging off a, with a uh, overhead light, and uh, still not sure if it's the best. It's a webcam. It's meant to do autofocus, but I'll turn that off at the moment. Let's see, uh, autofocus. For some reason. 
I don't know how well this is in focus, it looks reasonably well. The autofocus pulls it in and then for some reason it comes in, you see it pull into focus and then it disappears. Right, pliers. Right, so I think what I'll do is I'll just sort of uh, bend it up like that and then solder it. My 3D printed solder reel. Should have got some water on my pad. Start with the grounds. Should we really have some background music here? Or uh, will I speed it up? <laughs> I don't know. Do people like I not always I don't always like watching videos where it's speeded up. Also, I don't like my desk where it's all higgledy piggledy. I wonder if I can. Oh, can't you can't see it then, can you? Yeah, I was wondering if I could flow it over just so that it would be aligned a bit no, I don't like this idea let's try a better idea I think what's not helping is that my mat is all over the place and I think my tin copper wire is probably a bit old and dirty should really have cleaned it but, uh, Try it this way. Ouch. Bit in. Yeah, this is where some people would use blue tack. But, uh, I don't like blue tack. Blue tack's oily and uh, well, the old blue tack was. The old blue tack used to leave oily marks on the wall and uh, I never really thought that oil and solder really go together that well. And now we should be able to.
wanted to show you a uh, a quick view of how I was going to drive the uh, the clock display or the circular LED display and uh, rather than drawing the circuit I've just had a nose round and here's one from like fully loaded geek which uh, is roughly what I've done apart from he's used or they've used 100k resistors and I use 10 and the only real difference is if you wired up your circuit exactly the same as this you wouldn't be able to program it to uh, program ESP8266 you have to power it up with GPIO 0 held to ground so on my board there's just a little push button and you just push the button down while you power up and it goes into programming mode and then you can just talk to it the only real difference I've got is I don't have reset up here my reset just gets poured up to 5 volts and I've got the uh, power supply up here 3.3 so that I can power it from the programming connector while I'm programming it the important ones are you know there are certain IOs like IO15 and IO2 which also need to be pulled in the correct directions at startup so you know 15 needs to be pulled down and 2 needs to be pulled high so before GPO zero needs to be pulled low and then it will enter programming mode once you turn the power back on again and it runs into running mode GPI zero obviously is pulled high by that resistor and it it runs and once it's running it becomes a general IO again which you can use for other things <coughs> I'm driving the LEDs from uh, GPIO 5 so I don't have that resistor that effectively goes straight out to the first input of the first LED in the string and you know if you're using an ES, ESP8266-12 you know that's as simple as it gets to for a, a one, one, one line hardware controlled or Wi-Fi controlled device and so you know if you want to skip the next sections which are uh, speeded up with a bit of background music it, uh, it just shows me building that on a bit of a uh, proto board so yeah watch it speed it up and enjoy the music or just skip to the end when uh, you'll see it connected to the display and showing the time <laughs> Thank you.
like without the light on. And there it is. Nine. Oh, it's about 11 minutes past nine.
it's roughly 12 o'clock so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and the computer monitor is saying the time is 9 11 so there's 9 the brightest one highlighting where the actual hour is and it will slowly edge towards 10 as this comes around and of course that's the second hand okay. all it needs now is a I says something to diffuse it so it's not so bright okay. got text on there but uh, I think it looks better if it was the behind a, a white sheet anyway that's uh, the panel that uh, came in the mailbox.